Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I am so behind. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Um, I'm pulling in this beautiful kit called Spooky Season from Panda Bird Design. I do have a code for it. It's Rachel15 and mention my name to get my freebie. Absolutely beautiful. I did find using this kit a challenge because of all of the blacks and just very minimal colors of like just neutrals. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I felt like I was trying to pull in different kinds of like pinks, like nudie pinks and like browns kind of that kind of matched a little bit of it if you saw in like the blues. And I struggled. <laughs> also, super random fact, but I actually had a little kid give this to me when I was handing out candy. And tell me this is not super nostalgic. Do you guys remember these pencils? I remember them. And when I got it, I freaked out. I just wanted to share it with you guys since you know, we love stationery around here. So anyways, like I was saying, I struggled. I tried to pull in some of these like blues and um, kind of like this like brown peachy color <laughs> again with my colors. And I struggled. I thought that I was going to be able to supplement a lot of the kit with some boxes from like Two Little Bees and Bloom Paper Studio, but it ended up not being like the perfect match that I wanted. And it just looked a little bit off, especially for the kind of style I was going for. I, I wanted this to look a little bit creepy, but still very beautiful at the same time. And the fact that Jess from Panda Bird Design was able to accomplish that is literally chef's kiss, like amazing. And so you'll see that I ended up only pulling in some midi boxes from Sadie Stickers that kind of matched that brown, um, like peachy pink color. <laughs> I'm the worst at colors. Like you guys can see, right? where like the trees and the birds are. Okay. <laughs> I also try to supplement with some florals from Sadie Stickers. I think they were a part of like the fall and winter collection, but you'll see later I did struggle a lot with the florals because there were a lot of white and gray florals that came with the actual kit. So I wanted to pull in some of these like different kinds of blues and navy blues. And I think it kind of added and like with the, um, like with this yellow color, I think it kind of supplemented it kind of nicely. I don't know. It's kind of hard to cut out specific colors of floral bouquets because they're, you know, they're there. Otherwise it's going to not look as good and the cut lines are going to look awful. So I just worked with what I had. But anyways, <laughs> this is Halloween week. Let me know below. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of like deciding whether or not I even want to film my summer spreads. I think I'm still going to just because I really missed out on filming summer spreads and I think I only did like a couple of weeks and I have so many beautiful kits I still want to use. So at some point I think I'm going to, I might do a double plan with me just to kind of get them out of the way. Um, because if I do a double plan with me for both, then I'll basically have just, I'll, they'll be done in two videos, you know? So we shall see. Anyways, I've been obsessed with these Dash of Sun designs dividers. They have been my newest obsession. <laughs> I love them so much. They're amazing, very well made, and I like that you can kind of cut up uh, the dividers to make the most use out of the sheet. So you'll see here the month section. So there's this one floral bouquet that came with a Sadie Stickers um, deco sheet, and this was the only one on that sheet that had this like deep, deep purple that kind of looked almost black. And I thought it paired really nicely just like looking at it from afar, but it was the only one from that entire sheet that actually had that color scheme. And I felt like if I like if I left it there, it was going to look weird. So you'll see me take that off later. I elected to just use one of the florals that came with the actual add on with this kit. So it's it's been a struggle, you know, like it's just been a struggle. <laughs> but I, I did want to fast forward and kind of skip through um, some of my other fall spreads so I can get, kind of be caught up with Halloween since Halloween was just last week. And I wanted to get this video up. Also really love pulling in this full box at the bottom of the sidebar here. I like that it kind of looks like it's pulling in from the bottom washi and I love how cool that looks. I also have been obsessed with these watercolor trees. They look amazing and I love that it's like this blotchy black and gray. It looks so good. And the birds are really cool and just like spooky as well. And yeah, I also pulled in a ton of accents from mostly from Sadie stickers and some from Honey Inked. A lot of spider webs I had from last year. And then I also, um, I think Sadie stickers did like a $2 Tuesday. And I think I only picked up her like candies. I should have done the spider webs and bats, but 
I don't know. I feel like the bats probably would not have matched as much just because there's birds in this, but I totally should have picked up more of the spider webs. I think I got a good amount, but I, I don't know if I just forgot or I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, kind of looking back at this, I, I really loved my intention of doing the bird headers at the top because I didn't want to add another darker header under those day covers, but I also like that the birds are kind of at the top, like where they would be in the sky. Um, but I think the light blue was kind of throwing off um, the rest of it for me. So I don't know. I, I struggled so much because one, I haven't used the Panda Bird Design Kit in a while and just the format, just adjusting to it. If you guys have um, like kits that you use regularly from the same shop or from the same shops and then switching it up, you can, you, you might know how it feels to kind of switch things up and be a little bit thrown off. But here you can see that I did switch up my monthly section. Um, <laughs> the script is from Paper Trail Plans, as always. Been obsessed with her stuff. And yeah, I just really love my Miss and Meow Polaroids. They're so fun to use. All right, so on Monday, I pulled in a midi box from Sadie Stickers to Mark that I, um, I think as soon as I woke up, like I had coffee or whatever, and then I took a nap and I cuddled Jace. <laughs> so, like it was just one of those things where I had to have a morning nap because I was so tired from the weekend before. I also love these spider webs from Sadie Stickers. The icons are all from Honey, no, sorry. They're all from White Deer Stationery and or Crafts by Towie. I really had a great time pulling in the blue icons and like the kind of yellow one from White Deer Stationery. I think they matched perfectly. The J sticker is from Panda Bird Design. That was a custom that Jess did for me. Um, so thank you again so much, Jess. And then these paw prints are from Crafts by Towie. I had a phone meeting and then I also tried to um save all of the like pinks <laughs> the pink florals from the Sadie stickers add-on or the deco and I tried my hardest not to waste them and try to use them sparingly because I I was relying on them so heavily so I could make my spread look balanced and I will say I had a lot of fun using half scallops again like a ton of them in my spreads I used to use them a lot and I kind of fell out of using them and then now it's like because um, Jess includes them in her kits, and I really was able to pull in a lot of my other ones too, like this blue one, and it was really fun to play around with them. I really liked using them at the bottom of the um, the columns, and then I did use like use them twice on like two of the columns, and I really liked the balance that that did, and had a really fun time using these spider webs from Honey Inked. What I would do, they were the corner ones. I would cut them so it would be flushed, and then I would use the corner pieces. You'll see later as corners on some boxes so I didn't end up wasting them. So I had a self-care shower. That robe is from Crafts by Towie. I had therapy that's also from Crafts by Towie. And then here I'm using again those corner spider webs and just cutting them so I can just use the top part to kind of make little borders. And then I also love the really thin scallop dividers that Jess includes in her kits. So this is a teacup from White Deer Stationery but I used it to more coffee. The bows I'm using are from The Given Girl and or Sadie Stickers. I also loved using the little uh, bird deco. They were so, so fun to use and just really added to like the spookiness and the vibe and I loved it. All of the candy clusters are also from Sadie Stickers. So this day I um, woke up and had a cup of coffee in red. Also here I'm just covering up that bow and then I also trimmed some of the border of this white box that's from Sadie Stickers. She just had some simple white quarter boxes and I trimmed some of the excess white so that you can see a little bit of the color of the box that came with the kit. So this phone is from White Deer Stationery again. Just wanted to mark a meeting. I should probably grab my planner, right friends, right, right? Um, <laughs> I am always so disorganized. Anyways, okay, so I used um, some Sweep LXO dividers. I love these. I think it matched really well with this kit. I'm trying to save her all of these dividers from her shop because she's no longer open or I haven't seen her active. So I'm not really sure if she's planning on opening again, but I really do miss her very much. So I hope Adriana is doing well. I edited a plan with me using this icon from Crafts by Towie. And this is what I was saying. So the other part of that corner spider web from Honey Inked, I did use it on this midi box from Sadie Stickers. I didn't want it to go to waste, but I kind of look, I kind of like how unfinished that looks. So it didn't go to waste, but I like how kind of um, like un like imperfect it looks. Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> I used a watch from White Deer Stationery to mark that. I did a spin and leg workout. Um, again, layering scallops here. Used to do this a lot too and I loved it. Um, I missed it so much and this was kind of a great way to kind of get back into it. And I really wanted to maximize using all of the half scallops in this kit. 
So really adore these half scallop dividers from, or sorry, these half spiderweb dividers from Sadie Stickers. They're so fun. This bathtub is from White Deer Stationery. I had a bath and I usually either drink a glass of wine or read a book and just relax. So that was really cool and fun. The, um, these little floral dividers that I'm using or trims, <laughs> I struggled with because I was trying to salvage some of the florals that had more of this blue, this like blue color versus a lot of green. Cause I feel like this kit didn't have a lot of green. So I was trying to just cut up pieces that matched <laughs> color wise. And I was struggling. It was, it was rough. You guys, it was pretty rough. Okay. So I had made a pumpkin latte at home this day and I've been having a lot of fun using that um, or making them. And it's just been nice to not spend a lot of money at Starbucks, but also making it from home, you know, I don't have to like leave or do or do anything like that, but it certainly does not taste exactly the same. I think it still tastes good and it looks pretty, but it's not like the exact ingredients that I feel like Starbucks uses and to get the actual ingredients that Starbucks uses they can get pricey um I know the brand Fontana is what I use for the white for the um white chocolate sauce and that is expensive it retails for like 55 to 56 dollars for one of the containers and it goes bad if you don't use it fast enough so the way I justify it is I feel like if you make a cup or two a day like that's like a a dollar or two versus getting an entire drink like that from Starbucks is like six, seven dollars, you know? I just went off on a tangent. Um, okay. <laughs> on Wednesday, again, pulled in some sweet Bella XO flourishes. I did a UPS drop off. That is a mailbox from White Deer Stationery. I also pulled in the candy garlands from Sadie Stickers. I cuddled Jace and I put on makeup and then I went and grabbed dinner. And yeah, so that was really fun. Um, what else? I also pulled in these other mini corner spider webs from Sadie Stickers $2 Tuesdays. So those are super cute and really adore those as well. All right. So I grabbed my planner so I can actually reference it. Um, <laughs> I think I'm only one week behind in October. Um, yeah, I think I only have one week left to do in October. And then I have pretty much all of August to do. <laughs> all of um, August... No, I think I only have two weeks in August and then I have um, <laughs> two weeks in September left to do. So I am only behind maybe five weeks, but I am slowly but surely catching up. I manage my time pretty well for the most part since I'm in training and I work from home. So it's been really easy to kind of maneuver through all of that. And my life is slowly but surely kind of calming down some and... You know, we just work with what we got, right? <laughs> all right, so on Thursday, um, I had a meeting. So I marked all of my meetings and training the same way this week by just utilizing the Panda Bird Design Girls. I wanted to take advantage of using them, um, the laptop girls, because I wanted to go all out with PBD things. I also really had a great time using the Bloom Paper Studio lace quarter boxes on top of the busier, darker boxes so I could get some of the color in the background but also have some white space to write. I filmed a plan with me, did the same thing with all of the midi boxes. I pulled in some corner spider webs. I thought that was like super cute. I put on makeup. I grabbed Mexican with a friend, um, pulled in some tacos. So that was really fun. And then had margaritas and just chatted. So that was really great. And then just had a really chill um, night for the rest of the night. Um, I did the same thing. I've been pulling in the half scallops for the most part at the bottom. And then I did pull in two on the... Um, second row. So I really enjoy how this spread turned out. It, it's just so different for me, like using these blues and then the blacks and grays and then lots of white. And then of course, like this very minimal amount of the like peachy nude, it, it was <laughs> definitely challenging. So if you used the spread or this kit, let me know how you felt about it. It's so beautiful. And I think I put so much pressure on myself because I haven't used a PBD kit in a while and I only want to do, I only want to do her kits justice and I just want to make Jess proud. <laughs> so yeah, but she is so gifted and talented and just, I just love her designs. She's amazing. So I had, um, again, I used another floral, um, trim at the top and then a sweet Bella XO divider, um, marked meeting the same way. 
and had a double espresso this day. I also uploaded a plan with me, so all of that good stuff. Most of my icons, again, are from Crafts by Towie. All the foiled ones are, and then the colored ones are from White Deer Stationery. Okay, so Friday night was a really crazy night for me, <laughs> and I just um, wanna preface by saying, you know, I, I feel like people that do YouTube channels and share their life on here, we have a very private life and we're posting a lot of our life out there on the internet and sharing them, right? So this is something that um, I that happened to me recently. So on Friday, I had a very freak incident happen and I had a couple of seizures and I went to the emergency room. Um, and with this being a private personal medical thing, I would appreciate if um, you guys didn't ask any further, like what it all entailed and just kind of left it as, as that. And um, of course, if you want to, you know, send me your well wishes, I appreciate that. And I it's totally, totally appreciate and um, love you all for that. But I just want to leave it as that because it is very personal. But then again, this is my planner and this is something that I want to be able to kind of remember. Um, and yeah, I totally could have just like left it off camera. I don't know what I was thinking because I wasn't thinking, <laughs> but I had a really um, crazy weekend and it was it was scary and I'm just glad I'm okay. So totally okay. I've been great since then and um, to my friends and family that know about it have been incredibly loving and supportive and there for me. So I am good, but I just wanted to put that out there. Um, if you could just please respect my privacy and personal life um, when it comes to that, uh, that is really just all that I want to say um, because it is in my planner and it's right there. <laughs> so that's what happened. Unfortunately, it did ruin a lot of my plans that weekend, which at the end of the day, like that doesn't really matter to me because like my health and my life is so much more important. So I'm just so thankful and happy to be okay and to be here. So um, it was, again, a freak incident, but I am okay. So yeah, let's see. On Saturday, I was just resting all day. I'm pretty, I pretty much slept, um, slept, slept. Why do I say like that? I pretty much slept all day and I used a bed from Crafts by Towie. I also had Panera bread and um, tomato soup and like chicken noodle soup. I tried my best to actually eat it um, and keep it down, but I was just so tired and my body was just exhausted. So never had that happen to me, by the way. So it was definitely like a freak incident. I'm not prone to having seizures or anything like that. Um, and I don't want to speak on it because I'm not knowledgeable about it. So I don't want to um, disrespect anybody that is or has a situation like that or know someone because I just don't want to misspeak because that is not my place. I'm not here to try to educate anybody or anything like that. This was just solely an experience that I had and I can only speak to that. Um, but all in all, I'm good. I'm okay. I'm healthy and I'm alive and that's all that matters. Um, okay. So then uh, my mom and sister came over as well to kind of spend time with me. We watched a show called Found... Um, and Lost Girls, and I love that show. Definitely recommend checking it out if you guys want to. They're about um, girls that were adopted from China, and they go into the history, and it's just, it's really amazing, and I really, really liked it. I went to sleep really early just because I was exhausted. <laughs> On Sunday, I wanted to just mark Happy Halloween, and I am obsessed with how this turned out. I love the way the Happy Halloween turned out. I used a midi box. The Happy Halloween script is from Letters to Apollo. I used some corner spider webs from Sadie Stickers and some candies. I thought that was really cute. I worked overtime this day, marked it again with the same laptop girl. I also ended up taking a nap because I was just exhausted and um, just really needed to rest. So I was focusing on that. I also watched a, a movie called Sandcastle. Let me know if you've ever watched that movie. And I used a TV from White or Stationery. And yeah, so this this entire weekend I was pretty much on the couch. <laughs> like I was on the couch just resting or in my bed and just trying to relax and um trying to kind of keep down food because my body was just not having it. It was a rough, a rough weekend for me. And then let's see, I ended up um managing to hand out candy. Um and we usually only hand out like full size candy bars. That's kind of our thing. And we just want to keep the tradition alive. So that was really fun. And again, naturally, I pulled in some candies from Honey Inked and Sadie Stickers to mark this occasion. I just sat outside on my beach chair. <laughs> just took it easy. Jace was next to me on his blanket, keeping me company because he's such a good boy. And um, we just handed out candy. So that was really cool. So yeah, anyways, that is everything. And here's the leftover. I, again, didn't use a lot of the boxes I was intending to use, but I think it turned out really pretty and I tried to balance out that peachy um, color throughout the spread. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope that you're all doing well. 
Um, and I hope that you had a great and wonderful Halloween. Let me know in the comments below what you did for Halloween and what you dressed up as if you did or what you and your kids and family dressed up as. I would love to always hear those um, stories and I think they're really fun. So thank you so much. Take care and I will talk to you next time. Bye.